and it keeps continuing up over this larger boulder. This larger boulder could possibly be a serpent effigy, which is a common aspect of the stonework in this area and a common feature within ceremonial stone landscapes created by the indigenous people of the area. Another common feature of those serpent effigies is orange quartz. That is a common feature for serpent effigies. You will find one of these nearby. Doug Harris, who is a tribal historical leader down in Rhode Island, has mentioned that in a few presentations that in serpent effigies, this kind of stone is usually nearby. This is a serpent effigy, and um, the serpent effigies um, are quite often in dispute because the presumption is that they are stone walls. <laughs> and uh, most often they are too low to pin anything in, um, but um, we identify them by, uh, by other means. Usually they do have a head, such as the one you see here. But this particular one, just behind the head, also has a space um, and an orange stone because uh, we believe that uh, they are related to the um, serpent effigy um, that is in the area of Scorpius uh, that the, the um, Cherokee referred to as the Uktena. And uh, that is a serpent uh, with a, um, an orange stone or on in its, its terraform, it's a jewel, um, and, and it is horned. Uh, but this is as below, so above. More large boulders supporting the stone wall. Another kind of orange quartz right there. This could again be a serpent effigy stone right there. As you can see, orange quartz and a large stone incorporated with it. 